Michael Weissend is an expert in this area. He's been conducting research on this technology, TDCS. And, and it's used to increase the vigilance in, in drone operators. How does that work? We were approached uh, years ago. We applied to a uh, and received funding from DARPA to uh, investigate ways in which we could accelerate training to find the signals that people might identify to uh, prevent things like uh, the attacks that occurred on 9-11. One way to do that is to um, stimulate uh, the brains of people who are um, uh, looking at these pictures. So when you guys look at pictures, you're only capable of one percept at a time. All right, and that one percept at a time is often shown in lots of visual illusions that you uh, see, and I think we have an example of one here. So how many people see a vase? How many people see two people looking at one another? Can you see them both at the same time? It's, it's very difficult. If you can, it's a, you're a special brain. So uh, in this case, uh, the brain acts as a winner-take-all system, all right? One visual percept at a time. Now, the people that are uh, examining images to try to find threats are basically playing a game of Where's Waldo, right? Is there a threat in this image or not? And they may look at a whole book of Where's Waldo or an image something like this, right? Where you have to find something specific. If I told you in this figure to find, uh, let's see, can I pick something out here? So, uh, does everybody see the uh, deck of cards, or the, yeah, the game cards? How about the Barbie? Yeah. So, this is a game that our intelligence analysts play all day, every day. And they play it for 12 to 14, on 12 to 14 hour shifts. Now imagine doing that constantly for 12 to 14 hours. All right, it's a big job. And we may, and the thing that you're looking for may not be in the image, right? Okay, so we have some examples of those images, I think. This is what's called a target chip. This was one of the training images that we used when we were doing the study. So who knows what that is? That is a Humvee image from about five miles away. All right, so now if we go to the next image, we can, uh, now, does everybody see the Humvee here? This is one of the easy target images. Does everybody see the Humvee here? All right, so if we go to the next image, it will identify the Humvee for you. There it is, up Hemet 310 right there. Now we have a difficult image. All right, everybody see the Humvee and the missile launcher? All right, but this is what our guys in uniform are doing 12 to 14 hours a day, every day, and then getting off work and going to soccer practice. All right, if, if you guys had difficulty doing this, uh, the people who we take out of high school, run through boot camp, do a few schools with and sit down in front of a computer screen are gonna have uh, the same and or greater uh, difficulty. So what you see here is you see somebody actually performing these target identification tasks with the electrodes uh, on their head. What she's doing there is all the red uh, circles that you see where the red and the yellow overlap, those are correct choices and where the, there's yellow alone, those are uh, misidentifications. And where there's red alone, she's identified something as a target when it's really not. All right, so we give the subjects immediate feedback as they're going through the task as part of the training. So what are the results? Does this thing work? Right, so if you look at the green bar, these images show the number of correct identifications of targets divided by the number of false alarms. Okay, so a, a value of 2.5 here means that you are correct 
two and a half more times than you were wrong. The green bar shows training alone. The blue bar shows training plus putting all the gear on your head but not turning it on. It's called sham stimulation. And the red bar shows training plus stimulation. We can dramatically change how good people are at this task after a short amount of training. Okay, so we trained what we did in particular in the studies. We showed them images like you just saw. We showed them the target chips for an hour, and then we embedded those target chips into the city scenes uh, that you saw. And without stimulation, uh, roughly two and a half to three times better after the training. With stimulation, about seven times better with one hour of training on the target chips. Thank you.